How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to fully transfer WhatsApp between Android and iPhone. And when I say fully transfer, I do mean a complete transfer. So we're going to transfer all of our chats, data, groups, stickers, media, photos, videos, audio messages, absolutely everything you have on WhatsApp from one device to the other. And please keep in mind, this is universal, so it works from Android to iPhone, but also from iPhone to Android. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so definitely the best way to transfer everything from WhatsApp between iPhone and Android is by using a software. So for that, we're gonna use a computer, but don't worry because it doesn't have to be a Mac like I'm using. You can use a Windows PC as well. So it doesn't matter which computer you have with you, this will work. And the software we're gonna use for this is actually called Wondershare Doctor Phone. And I'm sure you're familiar with this. Wondershare is such a well-known brand with awesome products and I've made tons of videos with Wondershare here on the channel so you can definitely rest assured that Wondershare is a great option for you okay so I'm gonna have a direct link to this exact page as you're seeing right here right here first link in the description okay so go ahead and click here on download on the big blue button and then it's gonna automatically download for your operating system so if you're using Mac OS it's gonna be a .dmg if we're using a PC it's gonna be a .exe file so your typical software so you can close that and then of course go to your downloads folder and go through with the installation process just a few steps very very quickly as you're already used to installing any typical software on your computer okay once you're done you're gonna open up Wondershare Dr. Phone just like that. This is the home page. And then what we want, of course, is WhatsApp transfer right here. So click on it. And then it's gonna open up actually a secondary application inside, of course, uh, Dr. Phone. And then you have here the option to transfer WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. In this case, I'm gonna be using WhatsApp, but it's exactly the same, okay? It's the exact same thing. So let's go ahead here and click WhatsApp, which is my case, go for yours, and then transfer WhatsApp messages. That's what we want, the first option right here. And then, as you can also see, we're gonna transfer everything. So messages, group SMS, uh, start messages, community messages, call logs, photos, audio or voice notes, uh, videos, documents, stickers. So as I mentioned, absolutely everything. And then right here, now is the time we're gonna actually plug in our devices to the computer. So we're gonna need to plug in both of them, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's connect here the Android first. So connecting right here via USB-C. You can use any cable that you want, but of course, always prefer good high quality cables. As you can see, uh, it may ask you if you wanna allow the accessory to connect. Of course, do allow. So then that's the Android, as you can see, as the source. As you can see right here, so Samsung Android device, great. And of course, our iPhone is gonna be the destination. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And then same thing, charging and same story as well. I'm gonna leave it right there, as you can see. So everything is visible to you. And let's go ahead and allow as well. And as you can see, the destination is the iPhone, okay? So make sure that this is correct for you. Maybe if you're doing from iPhone to Android, you need to go ahead and flip, as you can see right here. So iPhone right here and Android right here. But of course, in our case, the first option was correct. And then as you can see, we have source, the Android, and destination, the iPhone. So it's perfect. Of course, you can select everything right here. So you can click and then select all. So it's gonna transfer absolutely everything as you can see. And before you go ahead and click on transfer, make sure that there are no pop-up messages on your devices. On my Android, I can see there's nothing, but there's something here on my iPhone. So as you can see, trust this computer, super important to trust use Face ID if it's necessary, and then make sure that everything is trusted, there are no pop-ups or anything like that, and both devices are connected, plugged in, 
charging and with the screen turned on as you can see both of them okay so let's continue and click on transfer and then you're probably gonna see a screen like that. If you're using a Samsung, you're gonna see Samsung. If you're using another brand, it's gonna be from your different brand. And this is just a process to actually allow access to full connections via USB to your Android phone. So let's go ahead and follow that. So let's go ahead here, get my Samsung phone, and then let's go ahead and open up our settings. And then after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and go to about phone, which is our last option right here, about phone, and then software information, as you can see, software information. And then let's go to build number. So let's look for that. And as you can see, we're gonna to need to tap seven times here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I had already pressed once, right? And then you're gonna to need to enter your pin. It's the same one you use to unlock your screen. Go ahead and complete that. And then developer mode has been turned on. And that's exactly what we need. And last but not least, let's come back here. Come back once again. And then on the very first page of our settings, scroll down to the last option, which now has a new option, which is developer options. So tap there. And then as you can scroll down just a bit, you'll see USB debugging, which is exactly what we need. We need to enable that to allow full USB connection, but maybe if your phone is just like mine, it'll have auto blocker. So then you need to disable that. So let's go ahead and go to search and then search for auto space BL as blocker. So auto blocker, tap on it. And then it's gonna be right here. You're gonna need to disable that. So then let's turn off, okay? So you can use fingerprint or your face or yeah, there we go. So auto blocker is finally off. So now we can come back, come back once again. So again to our first settings page, scroll all the way down until we get to developer options and right here, scroll a bit down until we get to USB debugging. And finally, now we can enable it. Okay. And that's exactly what we need. And as you can see, it'll be prompted if you want to allow connection. So do allow and then we're finally good to go. As you can see, allow once again, and then great, so everything is perfect. We have fully connected our Android phone to the computer, which is of course to Dr. Phone. Let's go ahead here, now we see connected, connected. Make sure to fully select everything if it has deselected for some reason, so fully select everything. And then let's go for transfer once again and let it do its thing, it's very fine. And Dr. Phone is saying that if you have WhatsApp on your destination phone, in our case, our iPhone, it'll be completely overwritten by the information from our source phone. So if you do have something here, once it's transferred, it's gonna completely wipe out everything. So make sure to acknowledge that and save if you want to. In my case, I don't even have WhatsApp on this phone just yet. I'll get it later. So for me, it's okay, all right? So let's go ahead and continue as you can see. And then it's restoring your iPhone in this case, because the iPhone is the destination right here. It's gonna ask to actually turn on end-to-end -end encryption on WhatsApp on the source phone. So on the Samsung phone, let's do that just like we did in our settings. So let's go ahead here open up WhatsApp. So it's gonna be straight inside WhatsApp this time. And then tap here at the top right. And then let's go ahead here to our settings. And then let's go to chats. So let's go look for chats and then chat backup, as you can see. So let's scroll down until you get to chat backup and then end-to-end -end encryption, which is right here at the bottom. So tap on it, turn on. And right here, you have the option to create your password for your encrypted backup. What we wanna do here is use a 64 digit encryption key instead. So the last option, tap on it. And then as you can see, let's tap on next right here on Dr. Phone and then go ahead here and make sure to generate your 64 digit key. So click on generate and then let's go ahead here and scan. So tap on this option to scan, let it do its thing. Let Dr. Phone actually scan the code. And as you can see, you're done. So all you have to do now really is go ahead and continue as you can see. And then I saved my 64 digit key. Don't, you don't need to worry about this key at all because it's just gonna be used for this process once. So you don't need to worry about this, all right? 
So let's go ahead now and create. So we're gonna need to create this backup and then it's backing up the messages using WhatsApp and of course, Dr. Phone as well. As you can see, we're done, it has just finished. My WhatsApp isn't completely full of stuff. On yours, it may take a little bit more time, all right? So let's go ahead here and click on next, as you can see, and then it's finally doing its thing. It's restoring all of the information to the iPhone. And so we get this message, which is a super important part of the process. Now is when we actually need to get WhatsApp on our destination phone, if you haven't already, okay? And I do recommend that you get it right now, that you actually install WhatsApp clean, all right? So go ahead and open up the App Store, as you can see, go to search and then look for WhatsApp. It would be the exact same thing if this was an Android, okay? Go ahead to the Play Store and get it. So get it, so let's wait for it to download and install, then open it up, and then right here, welcome, let's agree and continue, and right here, let's allow notifications, and right here is where you're gonna need to enter your phone number. And you don't have to worry right now about your SIM or eSIM, if it's physical, if it's digital, if it's on your source phone or your destination phone, don't worry about your SIM right now, because what we're doing is transferring the credentials from this guy to this guy. We're transferring our WhatsApp account from this phone, which is our source phone, to our destination phone. And we don't need to worry about the SIM right now, okay? So go ahead and enter then the exact same phone number that you have on this WhatsApp, on the source WhatsApp, the exact same one, because we're gonna need a verification code that will actually pop up on this phone, and I'm gonna do it with you. So go ahead and enter the phone number that's right here on this WhatsApp, on the source WhatsApp. Go ahead and tap on next. It's retrieving the credentials, as I mentioned, and then let's get the other guy, of course, our source. Let's open up WhatsApp, let's have him side by side, okay? Let's click on yes, make sure it's the correct phone number, okay? And now it's gonna get the verification code, as you can see, it's right here. This is a one-time verification code, so don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and type it in. So as you can see right here, we have done the process. So as you can see, Dr. Phone in the background has worked. And as you can see, the restore, the restoration process is actually successful. Let's go ahead and click on OK, and then uh, your iPhone 14 Pro has been complete, the restore has been complete, and then of course, on the phone, it's just gonna automatically reboot, automatically restart, okay? Let it do its thing, let it restart, then of course, go ahead and unlock it, okay? I have a very difficult passcode right here, and open up WhatsApp, and maybe you're gonna need to do it again, because the restoring process was interrupted in the middle, so we're gonna need to do it again, but that's normal, it happens. So go ahead, agree and continue, and go ahead and verify once again. So as you can see, we've got the same verification code right here on the screen, so you can use it once again. So go ahead and verify, let it do its thing, and then as you can see, you have been logged out. So great, you have been logged out. So we don't have WhatsApp on this phone anymore. And of course, our credentials are on this phone and all of our data is already on this phone as well. So let me show you. Restore from iCloud, you don't need that. You can skip because we have restored using Dr. Phone. So you can skip this restore. And then of course, uh, contacts, you can continue. We're getting already the messages, as you can see. Take a look, we're getting all the WhatsApp messages perfect. So uh, let's select contacts if you want to. And then of course, let's put our name. I'm gonna put DAT as the Annabelle tag. Tap on done, it's gonna load, and then it's gonna show up right here. Perfect, everything is back here. And as you can see, it's not only the groups, it's the chats themselves. So if I go ahead, for example, and tap on this chat, I have everything here. For this very first time, this may happen like a sudden crash, but you open it up once again, and then it's connecting, it happens, it may crash twice, it's completely normal, I've done this many, many times, and then once you open it, once again, now it's perfect, it won't crash anymore, it's just those very first seconds that's actually getting all of the information, and as you can see, I'm doing all of this uncut, all right? So as you can see, we've got here 
all of the photos, the videos, the audio messages, the stickers, and absolutely everything is here. And I can start using my WhatsApp as I would with all of my chats, all of my media, all of my groups, all of my conversation. Of course, this is just a demo, so I don't have a ton of messages here, but if you did have, you would have absolutely everything here on your destination phone. And then of course, at this point, you can unplug. You don't need the computer anymore. You can unplug your Android phone as well, your source phone for that matter. You don't need any of that anymore and all of the information is already on your phone. Now, talking about your SIM. If you have your SIM on your source phone still, if it's still there, now you can go ahead and remove it and put it here on the destination phone, if it's a physical SIM. If it's a NISIM, uh, you probably won't be able to transfer it directly Android to iPhone, so you need to contact your carrier. But as you can see, your SIM won't interfere with the transfer. We're transferring everything, WhatsApp to WhatsApp, using Dr. Phone, you don't need the SIM. So of course, you will want that, but it's not necessary for our process. So go ahead, contact your carrier, and then activate your SIM on your destination phone. Now you're all set, everything is good, and this is how you transfer full WhatsApp between Android and iPhone with Dr. Phone Wondershare. Of course, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description with an awesome offer so you can get Wondershare Dr. Phone right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.